And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to... Um, I was about to say Ace Attorney for some reason. That's two mistakes in two episodes in a row. Welcome back to Residents of Fate when I last left off. Uh, when we last left off, I should say. We are fighting this boss, which... For about literally all of a second, I thought it was capable of fighting. But... I don't know. Uh, it, we are fighting this boss who seems to be kind of impossible at the moment and on top of that we can't run away and th this is a mandatory fight like this isn't like you know like we we have to beat him so i don't know like like as in the previous episode i'm gonna i'm gonna spend about 10 minutes in this episode trying to fight him and if i can't beat him within that those 10 minutes i'll just uh cut to when i do i suppose anyway let's go ahead what the heck man there we go i i don't get it I don't get it though. Hmm. There has to be. Hmm. Cause he takes away four full bezels. Four full bezels with that one attack. So. Hmm. Maybe that's what I do. Shoot. Move forward. Shoot. Move forward. Nope, this isn't working. Maybe! I've never tried that. Okay, we're gonna end up losing this. We're gonna end up losing this anyway, so let me let me try something. So if I shoot. After I finish my whatchamacallit. And I run. No, no, he. Uh, you can't. You can't escape that. There's zero escape. Like the video game. Ah. <sighs> this is legitimately. I don't. I. Don't know how I'm going to be able to get through this. Alright, we've already heard this like 8,000 times already. Anyway, whatever the case may be, let's see. Actually, I haven't died to him that many times, have I? It just feels like I have because... Mm. He doesn't have any shield. Maybe my best bet is to try to... Is to try to... Maybe my best bet is to try to break his gauge. I think that's the only way that I'm gonna- I don't- The thing is, I don't really know how much damage you need to do in order to break someone's gauge, though. Shoot! There we go. Leveled up that. Hmm. I see. So, perhaps- So, like, when he's about to attack, that's probably my sign to- Wait for it. Eh, okay. No, okay. So, when he's about to do that, like, one, like, like, thing where he pulls out, like, his- blades or something that's probably my sign to attack okay i think i think i have this now maybe i don't know Alrighty then okay i think i think i have it this time i think i have it this time okay so hmm. shoot he's gonna teleport all i have to do is just move forward oh nope 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 not fast enough hmm Okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Let's try the clickbait, clickbait approach. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna work, though. Alright, because he's he's literally right on my butt. There's no way the clickbait approach is gonna... Oh, wait, uh, no, yeah. They get restarts, but nope, nope, that's not... Okay, clickbait approach, no go. I... I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. I... I... Uh, what am... Okay, so... I remember, like, just before he did that one, like, bladed attack. Hmm. Yeah, so, like, when he's in the middle of an action, that's when it's best to shoot. So, just before he does the whatchamacallit, so... Okay, right. Now... Yeah, unfortunately, he's gonna keep. Mm. All right, let's retry. Wow, like this is so. All right. Okay, he's about to shoot. Shoot. No, he tell. I think. Okay. Ouch. No. So. Mm. So it's whenever he's moving. That's when I'm supposed to. The problem is since I have so many bezels, that actually makes it. Um. That actually makes it uh, easier for him. Like, that's that's kind of the problem with having more bezels. 
is that um, we have to pause for a second there because like every time that our our gauge runs out, we have to pause for a second, which is kind of annoying. Um, what was I saying? Um, so it seems like it, the problem with having so many bezels is that um, um, well, it allows you to do more like, hero actions and everything, but you lose so much more, and you get to the point where um, like if you're in a pinch, the enemy has like all sorts of bezels to collect. Shoot. Nope. So don't do it. So just don't do it while he's still. Oh, nope, 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 stop. <sighs> Problem is, how do I get him? Okay. Nope. Nope. Mm. Shoot! Nope. Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. I don't get it. So I guess we can't. We can't. So while he's still, we can't. Now, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. He's gonna teleport. Uh, we can't. I can't. Sh I can't charge that fast. Mm. No, no, stop, stop. Now. Nope. Now. No. He pauses for a second, actually. So. Hmm. Now. Nope. I'm gonna teleport. And. Yeah, it's only been six minutes, but I don't think that the next four minutes are gonna change, so. I. think I'll be right back. And I beat him. It took me 40 minutes, but I beat him. It seemed like the strategy to do. I, I, I tried looking up like other people's strategies and it didn't work for me. So what I did was I did like a hero action and ran straight towards him. And just before I ran into him, I jumped. And, and for some reason, whenever you do that, he'll go, he'll like summon his swords. And when he summons his swords, that makes it like uh, easier. Like, like when he summons his swords, he's not going to teleport. Uh, so you can just lay on the scratch damage. So, yep, we did it. Leveled up twice. Pain in the frickin' butt. Goodbye. リンペル。どうして。バカ。私の落としたでしょ。だって俺死んだ方がいいだろ。それで償えるとでも思ってるの。
35! We got no money from that, despite the fact that I spent frickin' like 30,000 rubies on that. おお。あんたりオンは良き相談相手だった。目指すべき未来像を共有できる本当の仲間だった。しかし今は距離が遠くなるばかりだ。ラガーフェルドも言ってしまった。すでにカーディナルは一枚岩ではない。フリーナがいた頃
Alrighty then, let's see here. Let's see here, I got really quiet there for a second, all things considered. It's because someone just walked in and do the record into the house during the recording session, so shh. Anyway, whatever the case be, let's go ahead and go ahead and switch over to Leanne. That'd be great. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now let's go ahead and talk to Miranda. Come on. There's a fabric that could never be dyed, and that is none other than me. I'm sorry, that didn't make any sense. Eh? Oh, that's right. Because I loaded saves, I didn't actually go to visit the whatchamacallit, so... I see. I need, to go, I need to go to the whatchamacallit and get those missions back. Even though we got them on the recording, I loaded a couple times. Cause I tried, to, I cut, tried a couple different loadouts. First, like I switched, first I switched over to like uh, Zephyr with just like machine gun and grenades. That didn't do anything for me, cause, cause like I looked up a bunch of different strategies. I was like, one person was like, oh, you know, if you, if you uh, instead of having hand grenades, if you use like machine guns, or if you use, uh, or instead of uh, having uh, hand guns, if you use uh, uh, like, uh, Molotovs, you can stun them, and that, that didn't work. It, it didn't work. And then I tried, like, looking up some, like, videos and strategies. None of them worked. I just did, I just ran straight towards them and jumped over, and that worked a lot better, all things considered. That's alright. Also, because of that long cut, I'm not quite sure. Like, I think I know when I'm supposed to end this, but I'm not quite sure at the same time. I don't know. This episode ends up having, like, a... An awkward time length. It's alright. Okay. I'm making new outfits, but I can't dye them to the colors I want. There's only so much I can do with these mundane dyes. So I want you to find me an iris stone, which is said to make mystical dyes. If I have an iris stone, I can make new outfits. I've heard that you can get an iron stone from a specific monster, but I'm sorry, I don't know the details. Do you think a fellow hunter may know? So, in other words, we're probably not- Oh, I mean, the thing is, we're pretty much finished the chapter, because this is another really short chapter, so we should be able to, uh... Let's see what I'm trying to say. We should be able to finish everything up, and, um... Like, because, like, especially considering that we have, like, the next episode, which is going to be the 40-minute one, or 40-minute minimum. Which I need to address, um... It's 40, 40 minutes minimum, one hour maximum. I, ne I, I don't know... I don't think anyone's ever got this idea, but in case anyone has, just to clear up any confusion, I said one hour limit, that does not, um, it's a one hour limit limit for the last episode, um, which means that they can and will go for an hour every now and then, so, you know, expect it to be no less than 40 minutes and no longer than an hour, I will make cuts every now and then to make sure that it, uh, stays that way, so, what am, where am I gonna get, I'm gonna have to look that up. Probably in between episodes. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Pater's Manor and uh, talk to uh, Senor Maid, or Senora Maid, if you will, and then get the information from her. I wonder what her mission is going to be like. I feel like hers is going to have like, one of these is going to have like 8,000 blockades, I'm sure. Like, you're going to have to go through like 8,000 pitch stops. It's a good thing that we leveled up. <laughs> Man, so that, so... I, unbeknownst to me, that love that grinding session that I did was more of a. Hey, we're supposed to. Maybe it's a different one. They just use like the same character model. Pater's maiden. Normally, it, I guess it. Hmm. I thought there's supposed to be like a blue mark to let you know. Oh, we're supposed to go here. I guess not. I guess that's only when you start the mission. Lacey, do Cardinal Pater's dog has gone missing. The poor Cardinal must be weeping in his grave over this. Literally weeping in his grave. I have no idea when the dog slipped away. Could you help me find him? The only thing is Lassie Do won't listen to you, anyone but me. Please tell me where he is if you spot him. I inquired with Coralith one staff, but they hadn't seen Lassie Do. That can only mean one thing. He must be loose somewhere in Chandelier. Please remember, Lassie Do won't, won't listen to anyone but me. You must tell me where he is if you spot him. He's liable to bite if you try to force him to come. Okay, so uh, two ambiguous, two very ambiguous whatchamacallits here. That's kind of a pain in the butt. So, somewhere in whatchamacallit, so am I supposed to just, like, walk? I, or am I just supposed to just walk around? Go to level two? Uh, what? Where is it gonna be? I'm gonna look at both of these, uh, to see what I need to do. 
Alright, level one. Ah, oh, I just listened to music. I actually turned up the music. I right, let me show you. Uh, and options. I actually turned up the music just a little bit because I felt like the music was actually coming out just a little bit too quiet in recording sessions. So, I mean, I don't really notice it because I have, like, stereo headset and everything, but I think the final recording session, especially after I finish rendering and everything, uh, it can't, the music always comes out a little quiet, so I decided to turn it up just a little bit. Um, there's Basalica, which is, whatchamacallit, maybe he's in here? How am I supposed to look for him? Seriously, that does not make any sense. Ah, this music is so intense. Wait, is that... No, I was like, maybe... No, that is him, I think. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode.